here coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video along with my Pokemon companion Charmander and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video we are going to be talking about a new card coming out in Blazing Vortex a card that I personally think is possibly one of the most broken cards ever made in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG this is literally a card that you should, could play free of in any deck you could literally run this in any deck and it's just absolutely insane to think that this card exists and honestly guys it doesn't matter what you're playing like legit if you're playing dragon link you may have to give up some of your extra resources but honestly you, this card is just broken enough to do that I, I just i can't really explain it but guys let me actually get into the card though because honestly me just saying it's just broken enough to do it is apps isn't enough reason but let's actually go ahead and talk about the card so the card we're going to be talking about is pot of disparity a new normal spell card coming out in blazing vortex and guys honestly i think this card is better than pot of extravagance i think this card is close to the level of pot of greed and guys literally no matter what deck you play you can play this in for the specific reason that i'm going to give you after reading its effect so Let's actually go. So, Pot of Disparity is a normal spell card. You can banish three or six cards from your extra deck face down, and you get to excavate the top cards of your deck equal to the number you banished. You get to add one of those cards from among those cards you excavated to your hand, and then you get to place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Now, after you do activate this effect, all damage your opponent takes is halved for the rest of the turn, also, you cannot activate cards that would draw the turn you activate this effect. So if you do activate Port of Extravagance, you cannot use this card. If you activate um, Upstart Goblin, you cannot use this card. But personally, I feel like that doesn't matter. Because this card, this card in general says, one, you get to choose the three or six cards you banish in your extra deck. So say you have an extra deck full of jank cards or specific cards that you don't think you're going to use that duel. You can literally banish those jank cards or those cards you're not going to use that duel and get to excavate the top six cards of your deck and add any card among those six to your hand. Now, think about it this way. In Yu-Gi-Oh, there are percentages of the chances of what cards you're going to draw. Um, like, if you're playing three ofs, I believe the chance of opening one of them in your opening hand is a 33% chance. Um, if you're playing a one, there's a lot less of a chance, and so on and so forth. But Pot of Disparity basically says, Oh, my third first cards don't matter to me. Because even if I don't draw my one card combo, I can literally just activate Pot of Disparity, banish six cards of my choice from my extra deck, face down, and then be like, huh, let's excavate the top six. Oh, the one card I needed is in those top six. Which, <laughs> when you really think about it, guys, being able to look at the top six cards of your deck, plus also having those other four cards that you would have in your hand just by activating the pop disparity, absolutely insane right there. Like, this card literally states, I'm going to, if I don't open my opening combo, I'm just going to go ahead and, well... Look at the top six and choose one of those because those might have the card that I need. It gives me a higher percentage of a chance to do it. And Pot of Disparity is actually insane because of that. Like, literally, think of it this way, guys. You're playing a control deck. Say you're playing Guru. Now, in your opening five cards, you didn't see a Hidden City, a Terraforming, or a Subterra Guru. If you activate Pot of Disparity, you can literally just excavate the top six of your cards of your deck, banish those six cards in your extra deck that you literally don't care about, and then be like, oh, my Hidden City is here. Oh, oh my Terraforming is here. Oh, oh, my Guru is here. Pot of Disparity gives additional consistency to all control decks. Autogeist, you want to go ahead and get that Autogeist um, Multifaker easier or Mela Seek to get to the Multifaker easier. Activate Pot of Disparity, banish those six round extra cards, and you're good. Oh, you are playing Invoked or you're playing Dogmatica. Um, you need to go ahead and get an Adir or you need to go ahead and get an Alistair. Well, Excavate the top five cards of your deck. That Nadir could be there, that Alistair could be there, and a Magical Meltdown could be there, and Ecclesia could be there, which is basically the same thing as Nadir. Like, literally, Pot of Disparity is a card that says, no matter what deck you're playing, and if you need one specific card, this card says, okay, you've got six random extra cards or three random extra cards you don't care about, 
Huh, cool. Excavate the top six cards or three cards of your deck, and you get to go ahead and add one of those to your hand. Pot of Disparity is a literal card that is absolutely insane, and honestly, it just makes me baffled to think how Konami made a card that is on the level, if not better, than Pot of Greed. Because literally, literally um, when you're looking at cards like Pot of Greed or Pot of Extravagance, those are random chances to get that one of card. These cards say draw two. Yes, they say draw two, which in theory of Yu-Gi-Oh is very busted because drawing two cards in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh can be absolutely insane. But when you look at a pot card like Disparity here, you can literally say, oh, I'm not going to need to draw those two cards or I'm not going to need to draw that extra card because I just get to look at the top six cards of my deck and be like, Oh, the, the one card that I needed is here, or the one card that can get me to the one card I've needed is here. It literally says, any deck that needs that additional consistency boost can get that consistency boost. And it's absolutely insane for me to think that when a card like Pot Disparity says, Oh, I literally get to go ahead and activate a card that says, add any of the top six cards from my deck to my hand. And honestly, guys, you may be thinking, well, yeah, it's the top six cards. They might not hold the one card that you need to play the game. But you also got to remember, those are six options to potentially make your hand even better. Like... You want to get that one card that is there that, that is just absolutely insane to make your hand playable? Or you want to get to that card that literally makes your hand go from really bad to really good? Or if you want to get like a hand trap or a trap card for the following turn that will completely destroy your opponent that's in those top six cards? This card says I get to do that. And that that's just like another thing to this card. The card says I get to look at the top six. I get to add one to hand. This works in literally every deck in the game. Now, sure, there are some decks that won't be able to play this, such as decks that really need all of those extra spaces. Yes, Dragon Link can be one of those, and I know it, you, I did say you can even play this in Dragon Link, which you can, but think about it this way. If you want to go down a route with Dragon Link that doesn't need to go down Needle Fiber, you can literally just go straight into the Guard Dragons, banish the Needle Fiber package, the Link Cross, and all of those, and use Pot of Disparity because those are the ones that you don't need anymore because you didn't need to use the needle fiber and also guys another thing that makes this even better than something like pot of extravagance is that you can activate at any point in the turn literally this card doesn't say at the start of your main phase you have to use this card this card doesn't say oh when your opponent activates effects like tactical talents this card literally just says Oh, uh, banish three or six from your extra deck, and then you can activate me? Like, that's another really good thing. And I know also, guys, it does have its downsides um, by the fact that, one, uh, your opponent takes any half damage. Now, if you're playing a control deck, that doesn't really matter, because such as Altergeist, Guru, or Elder Lich, for instance, that won't matter. Um, and also, you cannot draw for the rest of this turn, but it, it really doesn't matter. You, you know why? Because, like, this card says six of those cards at the top of my deck, could be a really busted card, and I get to add it to hand. So, guys, that's just really my thoughts on Pots of Disparity. It is an absolutely insane card when you really think about it. Just the fact of looking at those top six, potentially getting the one card you actually need to play the game is absolutely insane. And I feel like this card in Blazing Vortex is going to be so expensive. Like, literally, I could see this being £80 a copy because this card is much better than Extravagance. This card is much better than any other of the search cards or consistency cards we have in currently in the game. And... It really just says I can be used in any deck. So, guys, um, tell me what your thoughts are on uh, Pot of Disparity, though. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions of this card in the comment section below. Do you think I'm absolutely wrong? Do you think the uh, risk of not getting that one card you need in those top six cards is too great? Um, do you think this card is absolutely busted and will play this up free in every deck you play? Just tell me your thoughts in the comment section below because there are ways to make this card even better. Hell, if you're really worried about those six cards as well, play the new Gizmak. If that thing dies, you get to put them back. But yeah, like this card, in my opinion, is absolutely insane and I cannot help but wanting to make a video on it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Go check out my Twitch channel. I am starting to stream there instead of here on YouTube. So if you want to see my streams, please go onto Twitch. I will definitely be streaming there more and possibly uploading some of the streams highlights onto here. We'll have to see about that. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Robert Bat one signing out. This new pot card is absolutely insane. Later all.